come in a big black Escalade. It feels very, very fancy. And uh, it made me feel like a famous person, which was kind of fun. And What's up Sarah Squad? Welcome back to my channel, Lose Weight Sarah, where I'm on a mission to lose 100 pounds my way. My way now includes a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I'm really, really excited to share my VSG journey with you all. As you know, I've been documenting on my Instagram. I traveled out to Las Vegas, Nevada as part of Blossom Bariatrics Fast Track Vertical Sleeve Gastrectomy Program. This is a condensed program that takes place over the course of five days where you go from pre-op testing to surgery in just a very short amount of time. So, you know, I'm splitting the journey into two parts because it ended up being a lot of video and a lot of me talking. So I didn't want the videos to be too long. So part one, which is the video you're watching right now, is going to be my arrival in Las Vegas and then my um, first pre-op day of testing. So we'll cover all of that. And then in the second video, which if you're not subscribed to my channel, you need to do it right now and make sure that you hit the little bell so that you get notifications when I upload part two. In part two, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a tour around Las Vegas. We went to the strip, it was really, really cool. And then it will be surgery day and how I did afterwards. So uh, again, I'm just really pumped to share this with you. So why don't we go to Las Vegas? I'm on my way to Las Vegas. I'm so excited. I just got to the airport and check-in was smooth and it's a direct flight, which I haven't been on a direct flight in a really long time. So that's exciting. And uh, yeah, I'm pumped to get to Las Vegas and get checked into the hotel and get settled in before all the medical stuff starts tomorrow. So I'll see you in Vegas. Just landed in Vegas. Wow, what a scenic flight. I've never seen anything like it. It felt like I was crossing into another world. It was so beautiful. So I'm excited to be here. I'm gonna go find my driver who's picking me up at the baggage claim and we're gonna head to the hotel. Okay guys, I just got to my hotel room and I'm gonna give you a tour because this room is freaking amazing. There's people in the hallway so I'm trying to be quiet but yeah, I can't wait to show you guys this. Let's go. Okay. So here is the view when you first walk in. I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom first. So bathroom, super modern. I don't know why my light is on. Look at this sink. Jeez. Really nice bathroom. Let's take a look in here. Got a non slip mat. That's nice. No toiletries? Oh no, there they are. They're here. We've got hair care. Alright, and a bar of soap. I'm gonna need some more towels. Hair dryers under there. Very nice, very nice. There's me looking chunky. Got some Las Vegas themed art, hangers, towel rack. Okay, let's move on. Then you walk in over here and you've got full length mirror. Very nice, so I can get some good pictures when I am after surgery. I've got a little microwave oven. This piece of furniture doesn't like match anything else, so that's kind of weird, but I mean, that's me just being silly. This couch is a pull-out couch. 
Very nice with a little ottoman. Lots and lots of lights in here, which for me is very good because I take a lot of pictures and videos. We've got another little side table, lots of plugs too, which is for me because I've got stuff to charge. I need to plug it. We've got this little separator screen here. So when dad goes to sleep on the pullout sofa, I'll be able to sleep on the bed and that'll keep us separate. Lots and lots of storage space, a little coffee maker, TV. Like the artwork, it's very, it's like Las Vegas lights themed. Here we've got a little stand up closet. Got a safe, ironing board, lots of hangers, an extra pillow for Dadu. Well, I've got about 85 pillows over here, so probably won't need any extras. And then here's the bed. Very nice, nice clean sheets. I've got an alarm clock over there. Who uses one of those? So here's the view from my window. I'm only on the second floor, but this is still pretty freaking amazing. And I'm loving this mountain skyline view. It's hot here, but it's actually not hotter than it is in Oklahoma, so it doesn't bother me too, too much. So yeah, that was the room. I'll give you one more spin around. Very nice, very nice. I think I will be nice and comfy and cozy for my stay, both pre and post-op. Okay, so Blossom gave me a little welcome to the hotel bag. And I haven't looked in this yet, so I figured I might as well just like do it with you guys. So let's see what we got. We got some water. Let's see two bottles of Aquafina. Which is funny because that's like that's pretty much the only thing I can have. Um no, I can have protein shakes. Let's see what we have. This is just like a general this is a general information card. And some hotel reminders. I'm not gonna read those. And a measuring tape. This is super cool. You know, I should probably take my measurements. I have not done it in a while. So maybe I'll do that. I did bring a notebook and pen with me, so I will do that later. Very nice. What's up, Sarah Squad? It is day two in Las Vegas, and I am going to be going out to the Las Vegas strip of casinos with my dad in a little while, so I'm gonna be getting ready. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about today because today was my initial appointment in person. I've already talked to a bunch of people um, on the phone, prior to coming out to Vegas, but today I actually went and met with my medical team. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about that as I am getting my face ready right now. I have no makeup on, but tell me the bathroom lighting in here is just like amazing. I love it. So anyway, so I'm going to be getting ready um, while I kind of tell you about um, everything that I did today. Hopefully I can keep it concise because... Uh, it doesn't take me that long to do my makeup. So, um, yeah, so they started off, I had my initial appointment at 8.45 and I got picked up by um, one of the Blossom drivers, which was awesome. They come in a big black Escalade. It feels very, very fancy. And uh, it made me feel like a famous person, which was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, once I got there, as literally as soon as I walked in the door, there was a, a medical assistant there to greet me. She checked me in and took me back right away to get started. And so the first thing that I did was I had some blood work done. Um, they uh, were running, I guess, a metabolic panel is what it's called. That came back awesome. All of the blood work came out 
really good. Every all of my um, everything that they checked was in the normal range, so nothing unexpected there. Um, my weight was good and on track. I lost the amount that I was required to and not too much. So I did a really good job there. Um, and then I also was asked a lot of questions about whether or not I get heartburn um, because that's something that they'll do while they are in there doing the um, gastric sleeve. If you have, I forget what the exact term is, but it's like a hernia that's right here that can loosen up your, um, the, I don't know the technical term, but the flap that protects your stomach acid from going up your throat. If you have GERD, then you know what it is. Um, so, uh, they asked a lot of questions about that because if they go in, they can fix it, um, while they're in there so that you wouldn't have to worry about that so much moving forward. I don't think I have that because I actually don't get heartburn very often, um, if ever. I think I get it maybe once in a blue moon. Pepperoni pizza tends to do that to me. And Lord knows I will not be eating that for a long, long time uh, for the foreseeable future, at least for the next six to eight months. Okay, so after I had that um, initial uh, blood work done, I got to meet with the nutritionist and we talked about how it went on my pre-op diet, which as you guys know, went very, very well. And we also talked about like um, the two week no chew diet after I have the surgery, there's no chewing. That means it's a, basically drinkable. Um, so broth, <laughs> a lot of broth and uh, what else? Broth and <laughs> protein water in my future basically, um, which is fine, at least for the next two weeks. Um, and it was really great because uh, there was a, really a focus, not so much on like how much protein I'm supposed to get right off the bat, but how much water. It was like water, 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 water. Um, I believe I'm supposed to get 64 ounces a day when you have a tiny pouch of a stomach, that's kind of tricky. Um, but uh, the nutritionist was so nice and shared a lot of tips on how to help me um, get that 64 ounces and I went a little too far down there, that's okay. Um, so yeah, so that'll be like a prime focus after surgery is drinking water, getting rid of this, the gas, because that's one of the big things too, like what they tell you is after, um, after surgery, so they fill your abdominal cavity with air so that they can work in there. And um, that gas has to like settle out of you basically. And if you don't walk around it and you're laying down a lot, it moves up here and it's extremely uncomfortable is my understanding. And I would like to avoid any unnecessary discomfort. That would be pretty great because <laughs> I already know it's gonna be uncomfortable, but I wanna do everything that they tell me to do so that I can kind of like mitigate that discomfort. So yeah, so that was the nutritionist visit. That was really great. And then um, the next thing I did was I went over to the surgical center and I did some more testing. So I did a, um, uh, metabolism test where you basically they pinch your nose i put a picture of it on my instagram if you missed it i'll put it i'll put it here too i'll put it somewhere on this screen um so i did the metabolism test and that went fine it wasn't as bad you have to sit there for 10 minutes just breathing into a tube um it didn't really phase me very much to be completely honest with you i was just like okay and just did it and took a selfie and everything so I really wasn't too uncomfortable. I think the most uncomfortable part of that was the nose pincher. Um, and that was really only for the, for the first, like few, maybe the first two minutes that it was like, I wanna say bothersome, but it really wasn't even, honestly, it was just, I just rolled with it. After that, we did what was probably the longest of the tests. And that was actually 
Um, I didn't bring a tiny mirror. That's okay. Um, the longest part, which was uh, the stress test. Um, so basically, um, I was naked from the top, from the waist up, and had a bunch of little things, little stickers strapped onto me. And um, what they did was they took a lot of like ultrasound of my heart from all different angles. And then once they got those pictures done, they actually um, had me go on a treadmill and, sorry, I wanna make sure I get that spot. Um, they had me go on a treadmill, get up to my target heart rate, which is about 154 beats per minute, and then had me lay down real fast and they took more uh, images of my heart at my target heart rate. So that all went well too. It was really interesting, really interesting process. It was kind of long and I was like starting to get a little bit nervous about it, honestly, because I was like, oh, why is this taking so long? It was a little nerve wracking, but she assured me everything was fine. She, they would have told me right then and there if there was anything that I had to worry about. So um, that's all, all good nothing to stress out about which is nice because um something i've talked about in the past is my family has a really long history of heart issues and one of the prime reasons that i wanted to even lose weight in the first place was so i could avoid that so i was really scared that they were going to tell me that something was up and I just didn't know about it, but it did not go that way. Thank goodness gracious, because I would have been so, imagine getting all the way to this point and they're like, oh, you have a heart problem you don't know about, can't do the surgery. I would shit myself, literally, like just shit myself and go cry, cry into a cake probably. <laughs> I'd just be like, fuck it, I'm gonna be fat forever. That's not a great attitude to have, but could you imagine? Seriously. And then I got to also meet with the surgeon who will be performing my procedure. And he was super cool. He was so energetic and so nice. I didn't have any questions because I've been researching this shit for, I don't know, the better part of nine years. Do those look even? Yeah, they look who cares um so yeah so i've been researching this the better part of nine years and i know my stuff i need to stop cursing so much um i know my stuff and um i had just a couple of very quick personal questions that i asked and he gave me my pain medicine and that was that so huh so it was a really good, it was a really good morning. I got a lot of information, a lot of information. Um, I'll show you guys what came in my um, like blossom bag. That's kind of like their little prep bag. I'll go ahead and show you that in just a few minutes here. I'll unpack it on the bed so you can see what all was included and messed that up. I hate when that happens. I think I saved it. I caught it fast enough. I usually have a little hand mirror. Shit, I did it again. Um, I, oh, I'm making it worse. I usually have a little hand mirror that I do this with and I apparently forgot to pack it. So, well, that looks fine. You can't tell. No, you can't. Um, so, I'm not really enjoying doing this from a distance, the mirror's behind you guys uh, where the camera's at, so. Um, all right, makeup is done. I just need to change and put on some lip gloss or something, because I have foundation there. Um, but that was my uh, initial consult day. I'll, again, I'm gonna show you guys the what's in the Blossom bag that they give me. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Tomorrow, I have an endoscopy. I think they call it an EKD. I'm probably screwing that up. I'll correct myself tomorrow. 
Um, but that is where they stick a tube with a camera down your throat and they are looking for anything that's sus, anything out of the ordinary, uh, and also checking for that hernia uh, issue that I mentioned earlier. So thanks for coming along on this little chat with me and I will talk to you guys later. So that was my recap of day one and two. My arrival was on day one. Day two was my first day of pre-op testing, which included that EKG, uh, stress test, metabolic testing and all that good stuff. So what did you think? Do you have any questions about these first two days? I'm really excited for the next video, which will be um, the second day of pre-op testing and then my actual surgery day. So again, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that now. Make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell, turn those notifications on because you don't wanna miss this next video. If you have any questions at all, don't be afraid to drop me a comment below. I love to chat about this and tell you more about my experience. And until next time, I'll see you real soon.